everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kenzie. If you did not know that, then now you know. And you guys, today I have a three month review on my Caramel Chanel Classic Flap. If this is the first time you ever seeing me, then hello, I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kenzie. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion travel, jewelry, mostly handbags. I like that a lot, but today we do have a three month review on one of my favorite bags that I have in my collection. So if any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea that I would ask you to consider, click and subscribe button to give this video a like and ding a little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload and you guys don't need further ado let's get into the video yes hi hello everyone hope you're having a wonderful day today I did want to make this three month review because I got this bag in April I believe let me take a look at my like order whenever I ordered it so let me see I think I ordered it in March yes so I ordered it March 15th and then I received it March 18th. So I've had it for even longer than three months. So I've had it April, May, June, July, August. I've had it for, I've had it for five months. Oh my God, I did not realize that. I could do like a six month review, like an, like an almost six months review. I'm just gonna call this a six month review, <laughs> okay? If you're watching this, know that I've had it for five months. It's almost been six months. I think a six months review is probably better than a three months review because I've had it for a longer period of time. So that's what we're gonna do. This three month review just turned into a six month review. So let's go over this bag. I'll talk to you about it, tell you how I've been getting on with this bag. I'll let you know if you know I regret buying it, if I still like it and I still use it a bunch. We'll go over all of the ins and outs. So starting off with an overview of the bag, here is what the bag looks like. This was my first ever modern classic flap. I did have a vintage classic flap that was black with gold hardware and I think that one was like a 96 vintage and I loved that one. My mom has it now. She bought it from me so it's still in the family which is really nice but this is my first classic flap that is more modern. Every time I talk about this bag I don't think it's real because I still just can't believe that I own this bag. It still blows my mind to be completely honest but here is what this bag looks like. This is from the 21P collection, and it is the 21P Caramel Classic Flap. So this is the one that like, if you've seen like Jess Lou on Instagram or YouTube, you probably know who she is. She has this exact classic flap, and no, I didn't get it because of her. I got it because I saw that she like had it, and I didn't know that this colorway existed. And then after I saw her unbox it, I was just so obsessed with it. So I've been obsessed with this bag for years. At this point, I finally was able to get it this year. It's literally insane. Yeah, it's just crazy because this I feel like is kind of hard to find. I was only able to find one of these that literally said 2021, like it came out in 2021 because all the other ones I see that they came out in like 22 or 20 or something. And it's like, no, I need the 21P one. So I did find this on Fashion File. I ordered it through Fashion File. Also on the bag you can see that it is lambskin and it's not caviar. I really love, 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 love the look of lambskin. I like lambskin more than caviar even though I know caviar is more durable. We'll get into the whole durability situation here in a minute. I know that people say caviar is more durable and it's not that people just say it. It technically is. Lambskin can be more fragile if you're using it like very often. Lambskin in general is just going to be more of a delicate material that you have to be very careful with, but I just think the lambskin is the most beautiful over the two. If I have the choice, I will probably always go for lambskin over caviar. I do have a caviar classic flap as well that I love to pieces. I'll do a review on that one later on because I haven't had that one as long as this one. But yeah, in my opinion, the lambskin is so much more luxe. It's so much more luxurious. Every time I see a lambskin classic flap, I'm like, ooh, it looks so like squishy and it looks so regal and I just love it. It is light gold hardware as well and it does have the four grommets and the straps loop through there. I did do a full unboxing on this bag. If you haven't seen that, I will link it down below for you. And then of course you can let one of these straps down and make it into a crossbody bag. Um, I have all of my stuff in here. Like I'm literally using this bag at the moment. So, so all of my shit is in here. <laughs> yeah, so that's the overview. Of course it has the Mona Lisa 
pocket in the back. And now let's go over, I don't know, my experience with it so far. I unfortunately have not worn this bag as much as I would have liked to. I actually, believe it or not, wear my caviar bag way, 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 way more than this right now because I do think this can be a summertime bag. I mean, of course, I mean, it's not like a super dark brown or anything, but I am just waiting. I am just so like foaming at the mouth and feral for fall. It's already fall in my mind, but like, I know a lot of people don't consider August to be fall. So I'm waiting for like September. And then this bag is probably going to be like my everyday bag, which what I recommend a Chanel Classic Flap as your everyday bag, no. Am I still gonna do it? Yeah, probably. I just think this bag is going to literally change the game when it comes to fall time and winter as well. It's just going to look so good with coats. It's gonna look so good with light jackets. It's gonna be so good with other shades of brown. It's just going to be incredible for fall. And I'm so excited for that. So that's why I haven't worn this one as much. My Caviar Classic Flap is in a blue, like a light baby blue color, kind of like a cornflower blue. And it's a lot more fitting for this time of the year. I used it a lot in the spring. I used it, well, not really spring because I got it during May. I got it in May. So it's like spring going into summer. I used it a lot in late spring and I used it a lot during the summer. So that one has been getting a lot more use than this one. Also, I am worried about damaging this one or hurting this one. I haven't really had any issues with the quality of this bag. I haven't damaged this bag at all. I haven't seen the leather get snagged or get, oh my God. Oh. Thank God the leather hasn't gotten snagged, but like, you know what I mean? I just haven't seen any issues with this bag whatsoever since I've got it. My caviar one on the other hand, there has already been some wear and tear on the caviar one, which I'll talk about when I make that video, which is kind of insane to me. Maybe it's because I haven't used it as often as the caviar one, but it is kind of crazy that the one that they, that everyone says is the most durable is already showing wear on the straps. And this one, people say is the most delicate, is not showing wear any more than it already had because this was a used bag, it's not brand new. So it already did have a tiny bit of wear, but I haven't noticed any more wear. The blue one that I have was brand new and I've already seen a little bit of wear, which is crazy. The only thing with this bag that I would say is kind of annoying, maybe it's just the fact that it's lambskin. Maybe it's just this bag, I'm not sure because I have seen lose classic flap the caramel color as well from the 21p collection and hers does this exact same thing maybe not as drastically as mine but i've seen hers like sitting on her display shelf or whatever and it does the same thing is that supposed to stick out so far like can you see that it really sticks out this one's not as bad but like look from the bottom it like really sticks out the the flaps here kind of looks like i don't know butterfly wings does that make any sense i don't know why it sticks out so far again maybe it's just because it's a lambskin i mean i did have one lambskin bag my vintage classic flap was lambskin as well it didn't do that maybe it's because the quilts were flat that it you know didn't have that puffy texture to go out like that but yeah the caviar one doesn't do this i don't know if it's because it was used prior to me getting this and it kind of got a tiny bit stretched out i have no idea or if it just does that if it's just part of the thing with the lambskin ones i don't know maybe if you are a expert in classic flaps you could tell me in the comments or something but and then the only other thing that I have noticed on this bag, it's not that bad. And I think it was like this when I got it, but maybe it's gotten like the, like a 1% like worse. Like maybe it's gotten a tiny bit worse. But on the bottom here, you're probably not gonna be able to see it, but oh yeah, like right there. Hopefully you can see it, but there is a crease, like kind of, it's kind of wrinkled right there. So it does worry me just a tiny bit that over time when I keep putting the bag down, then it's going to start sagging on this side right here. And it's going to start creating a, like a crease, if that makes any sense. Maybe I could get like a base supporter for this bag. I mean, it's pretty sturdy on the bottom anyways. It's got a support on the bottom, but 
I guess maybe I could get like a separate one and put in there because I don't see it on this side. I only see it right here. So I don't know what that is. Maybe it's just normal wear and tear. Maybe that's just how I'm sitting it down. I will probably swap out of this bag today just to kind of give it a break. So yeah, the quality has been really good. I haven't had any issues with it, thank God, because these bags are insanely expensive. Let's just talk about the price point for these bags. And trust me, I'm so well aware that these bags are stupid. And I'm stupid for buying a bag like this. Like I'm aware that the price point on these bags is infuriating. I, I don't even know how to describe it. I just know that I am enamored with classic flaps. I love them. And that is what draws me to them and makes me want to keep buying them. It's my favorite bag of all time. Like the classic flap, just the style, the look of it, just the way that it is, I, I just, I love it so much. I find it so attractive. So like that is the reason why I keep going back to classic flaps. I don't, I was gonna say, I don't know why, but I do know why and I just, I love it. But these bags are so stupidly expensive. It doesn't really make a lot of sense unless you find one that you love. Like for this one, for example, I wanted this one for years and I never thought that I was gonna be able to get my hands on it, but then I was and I did pull the trigger. I wanted it so badly. And again, the only reason why I was even able to get this bag is because me and my husband did our taxes back in March uh, for 2023 and we were able to keep more on our taxes than we expected. We don't get money back on our taxes because we're self-employed. I mean, I guess we could, but we definitely didn't. We had to pay the government. <laughs> we got to keep more because we have like a separate savings account for our taxes. So we were able to keep more than we were expecting. And I was able to put a really good chunk towards this bag. And it was basically nearly paid by the time I ordered it because I put a lot of tax money towards this bag. So that's the only reason why I was even able to like get this bag. It's not like I was willy nilly this, oh, today I feel like buying a Chanel. No, it was definitely planned. I feel like I have to say that every time because like I just know these bags are stupid. I know I've had people say, you don't need to justify yourself, you don't need to do that. But I feel like I do because like I, I know that this is stupid. No part of me ever wants to think that this is normal. Like Chanel classic flaps, bags that are this expensive are not normal and I'm very aware of that and I never wanted to become a thing to where I just think, oh, that's fine. So I have to keep reminding myself that this is not normal. I'm just so grateful to be here and I'm so grateful to even have this bag. So there's that. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. That was very long winded. Let's go over what fits in this bag. I mean, I've already shown, I'm not gonna show fully what fits in this bag. I do think, I don't know what it is, but I think the lambskin bags fit more than the caviar bags. I, maybe it's because they're more pliable. Maybe they're more stretchy because the caviar is quite stiff. You know, it's very hard hard and the lambskin is a lot more soft. It's very malleable. So I feel like the lambskin bags just fit more than the caviar. I could be wrong. Like I could just be a conspiracy theorist and that's it. But I do think that I can fit way more in this bag. I don't really know what else to say. I just know that I love this bag. Like this is my child. I'm obsessed with it and I'm just again so happy to have it. I, I think this bag is fantastic and I'm really glad and happy that I have it. But yeah, you guys, that has been my six month review, technically five months, but we're saying six months review on my small classic flap from the 21P collection in the caramel brown color. Let me know in the comments what you think of this bag. Let me know if you like it, if you don't like the color, or just leave me a comment down below telling me anything because I'm nosy and I want to know that. But you guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and then subscribe if you want to and be sure to ding a little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!